everyone and welcome to May's edition of Tea Time with Chloe. I've got my Love is Love mug today from Emma Bridgewater because as you can see from the title I'm going to be updating you on our wedding and what is going on with that. Sorry about all the junk in the background. We've got an ironing board and camping chairs and all sorts tucked over in the corner there um, and I couldn't be bothered to move them out of frame of this video but um, yeah, I wanted to update you guys on the wedding. A lot of people have asked us if the wedding is still going ahead. And I mean people in real life and on the internet. Um, people have been asking whether it's still going ahead. And my answer has always sort of been that we are hoping that it will still be able to go ahead. But we're looking into other avenues. Um, but unfortunately, we have been sort of pushed to make some big decisions now. So I thought I would update you on them in a separate video. My Tea Time with Chloe videos are to chat through stuff like this and not take up loads of time in my weekly vlogs. So um, grab a cup of tea, grab some biscuits and let's chat. So for some background, Will and I have been together for seven years this year. And I waited a long time for, <laughs> for my proposal. Um, we'd been together six years when Will proposed and he proposed in the most wonderful way um, on my 25th birthday last year, so on the 31st of August 2019. And because I have no patience and for a lot of other personal reasons, um, we decided to get married this summer. So less than a month after we got engaged, we booked our wedding for summer of 2020. So we were going to be getting married just under a year after we got engaged and um, we really hit the ground running with the planning really. I had booked in most of the big things within a couple of months um, and in January I booked all of the like final things and like the final big suppliers and um, had our invites made and then this happened. <laughs> I don't want to like name the pandemic and everything that's going on because I know that YouTube are like hiding videos that mention it. We got stuck in the middle of a global pandemic and obviously the wedding came into question. Being totally honest with you, perhaps naively, in the beginning we sort of laughed about the possibility that it could affect the wedding and we didn't really think that it would. Sorry, there is a dog barking a lot outside, let me shut the We went off to Florida in February and we honestly didn't even give this virus a second thought to be honest which in hindsight was so silly because when we came home from Florida I ended up in hospital um because I was so poorly and I could have gotten so sick so we just we just were a bit naive and careless about it to be honest and because of the fact that the wedding at that point was still six months away when this started to become newsworthy here um there just wasn't a thought in our minds that the wedding would be affected by it, to be honest. And even when we went into lockdown in March, um, because I was feeling so much better then after being out of hospital, that was when I like named and addressed all of our invitations and had them all sent out and everything. Like even then, we were starting to become a little bit cautious, but we still really felt like the wedding would go ahead. And honestly, like up until a couple of weeks ago, I was still really optimistic that the wedding could go ahead in some capacity but it's become increasingly obvious over the last month or so that that's just not going to happen. Um, although having said that, I think that the wedding probably still could have gone ahead but I think it would have a drastically reduced guest list and all the guests would have to social distance and when I thought about how that would actually feel on the day and you know having a wedding photo album full of photos of people standing two meters apart from each other like it just wasn't what either of us wanted so um if you watch my weekly vlogs you'll know that I've been <laughs> agonizing over this situation for months now um I've had a lot of sleepless nights I've had a lot of tearful days um and it's hard to describe how stressful it has actually been and it's difficult because obviously the world as a whole is going through an awful time right now and there are people who have actually lost loved ones or lost their jobs and obviously their situation is so much worse than having to postpone your wedding. 
but I just can't describe how upsetting and how stressful it, it was to have this beautiful day that we had planned and spent a lot of money on, I'm not gonna lie to you, like we, we are having quite a um, small wedding in comparison to, to some others, um, but it still cost us a lot of money and to see this beautiful day just disintegrate before my eyes, it has been so hard and a lot of people will say just postpone it but it, it isn't as easy as that for a lot of people um if you have bought everything and planned everything for a summer wedding for example you're going to want to postpone to the next summer but a lot of people were already booked for next summer um, people tend to plan their weddings generally at least a year in, in advance normally two years in advance and because all of the spring weddings had started postponing straight away um, people like me who had weddings in the summer and they were holding on a little bit longer to see if it could go ahead you were really competing with people for dates especially if you wanted to, to get married next year and i've heard of people having to put their wedding off now until 2022 or even 2023 because they just can't get the dates that they want um, and they can't get all of their suppliers free on the same day and so i was really worried about that happening to us um and i felt pushed to start making some big decisions basically so um, at the end of April, beginning of May, I started contacting my suppliers and my venue and I spoke to the registrar, so like the, the people who actually marry you, and we decided to pencil in a possible altern alternative date for next April. Um, so we were holding on to our summer wedding date for now, um, but we penciled in this date for next April and the reason we went for April was one because our venue only had about five dates left for next year um, but also my brother and his fiance got engaged a couple of months after us and they um, are also having a fairly short engagement and they have booked their wedding for next June. So that then made it difficult for us because we didn't really want to get married right on top of their wedding, we don't want to steal their thunder um, and we didn't want to get married after them because originally we would have been married nearly a year before so it didn't it also didn't feel right to get married afterwards um, so we just went ahead and booked in this provisional date for the end of April and we left it at that for about a month um, until today but obviously we've been watching the situation unfold with great interest and frustration and um, we were waiting for this most recent government update in the UK to make our final decision over what we were going to do with the wedding and I had been sort of psyching myself up over the last couple of weeks to officially make the decision to postpone um, and again I know this video is a bit rambly but my tea time with Chloe videos tend to be a bit rambly they're my chance to just sort of offload things and chat freely but um, like I touched on before, there are a lot of reasons why we wanted to get married this year. So it's been a real process. It was a, a real process for me. Like I know it sounds silly, but it was a real process for me to to even think about postponing to next year because of all of these very personal reasons why we wanted to have the ceremony this year. So it has been a real process to decide to postpone the wedding and to um, feel able to to make that decision which again I know sounds silly and a lot of people will be like just postpone it but it's not always as easy as that and also so many people are involved in a wedding you have so many suppliers and and people who are who are there on the day and um so, like providing things for the wedding and and all that jazz and also you have to make sure that somebody can actually marry you so you can't make any decisions until you've spoken to the registrar office and the, and the superintendent registrar um, because you can't postpone your wedding and organize it all and then find out that nobody is available to marry you that day so it's a <laughs> it's a bit of a process but yeah so new rules and updates were sort of released yesterday and unfortunately there wasn't any guidance released about weddings that i've seen yet we might get more on monday that tends to be what happens they sort of release bits of it on Thursday and then on the Monday when everything comes into effect um, that's when we get more detail so um, there might be more information released on Monday but there was talk that small wedding ceremonies were going to be allowed from Monday the 1st of June um, 
I don't know if they were, were going to have to be outside or whatever, but weddings were supposed to resume from the 1st of June. Um, but unfortunately, like I say, there hasn't been any update on that. So I don't know whether that's actually happening or not. Um, so because we didn't even have that update, we basically just came to the decision that if we were going to postpone the wedding, we really needed to do it now. Um, because the stress of not knowing and agonising over the decision, it was just upsetting me in particular because Will is a lot more um, stoic than me. He's able to sort of compartmentalise his feelings a lot more than I can. Um, but it was stressing both of us out and our families were worried as well. Um, everyone was asking us all the time. My friends were starting to ask what they should do about the Hindu because we have this big weekend away booked for my Hindu. And basically it just, you know, <laughs> it all just came to a head really and we needed to postpone. So I made the decision that today I was going to postpone the wedding and I was going to contact everyone about it. Obviously, Will and I have been speaking about this in detail for months, deciding what we wanted to do. And something that we kept bandying around together was, should we have our legal ceremony done at some point in the summer if we can? Um, and then just postpone like the big party until next April and maybe have like a celebrant there to do like a little fake service um, or fake ceremony for all the people who can't come to the real one. And we sort of threw that idea around a lot of times to be honest and um, my parents mentioned it, a couple of my friends have mentioned it and, and like I say we had discussed it with each other and it was something that we were sort of like maybe we could do it but more than likely we won't um and then we were discussing it last night and i don't know what really happened but something kind of just clicked and we were like do you know what let's just get legally married as soon as we can and then we will have this big party this big celebration in april i sent a few emails last night basically we're not getting married in our county so i had to contact the registry office of the county where we were getting married and speak to them about potentially changing our booking to a registry office wedding for the summer um, and then having a celebrant separately do a ceremony in april and they called me first thing this morning and said that they had availability on our current date and that we could change the booking if we wanted to. And not only that, but we get 50% of the money back because it's cheaper to get married at the registry office than it is to get married off site. Um, so even though we sort of only decided it yesterday, that's what we've gone ahead and booked. So the wedding is cancelled but it's also not. Basically, I've rambled on at you for like 20 minutes about the wedding when I could have just said, we're still getting legally married, but our big party is postponed. Um, unfortunately, because we've changed the venue of our wedding ceremony, we do have to give notice again. And at the moment, none of the registry offices are open to give notice. So if the registry offices don't open by like the 1st of July, we are not going to be able to get married um, on our original date because you have to give notice at least 28 days before um, you get married and you have to do that in person. It's like an interview. You go and they ask you a bunch of questions and they decide whether you are actually trying to like just get a visa or something. Um, and I know that sounded flippant, but that's genuinely like what it's for. They want to make sure it's not like an arranged marriage um, or a forced marriage or somebody just trying to get citizenship. So yeah, for now, we are booked to have our legal ceremony on our original date in August. Um, and we have postponed a like fake ceremony and big celebration and party and reception with everything that we had already booked and planned for next April. Um, but like I say, I can't guarantee that any of this is gonna go ahead because the registry offices might not open in time for us to give marriage, give notice of marriage and um, postponing the wedding until next spring might not even be enough because they reckon that social distancing is here to stay for the foreseeable. So basically we are just rolling with the punches at the moment and taking everything as it comes. But um, yeah, we're gonna try and make a really nice day of our original wedding date. And I really hope that the wedding ceremony can go ahead because it would mean a lot to me that we were actually married this year. Hopefully we'll be able to have our parents and grandparents there at the very least, but we would like to have our parents, grandparents and siblings. But unfortunately between us, we have a lot of siblings. So it will depend on how many people are allowed to gather in one place at that time. 
Um, it's just crazy really, isn't it? Thinking about this whole situation, but um, yeah, I feel a lot better that we have some sort of plan now. I've confirmed everything with most of our suppliers already. I'm just waiting for some of them to get back to me. Um, I'm not gonna wear my actual wedding dress for the wedding ceremony. I'm going to try and find something else um, because I want to save my like formal wedding dress for the big day and all my friends and family can see it at once. Um, I think that's everything. If you have any questions, let me know. I would love to hear from you if you've had to change your wedding as well because it's nice to speak to people who understand. Um, but yeah, I will see you next time, guys. Bye.